Hi, this is Josh from the XM2 Store channel. Today we're here to talk about the DJI Agris MG1. Okay, so a couple of things about the craft. It's running DJI A2 flight controller, along with the Lightbridge 2 video transmission system. It's running DJI motors and ESCs, which are enclosed from the weather so that you can uh, hose it off at the end of the day. Another pretty cool feature about the craft is it has an intake at the front, which will filter out any dust or particles from the outside air and disperse it evenly throughout the arms to provide cooling through the motors, which will increase longevity up to three times. Across four of the arms, you'll find the, the spraying system. So it has a small pump on the back of a 10 litre tank that disperses water out across four of the arms to industry standard nozzles which come as standard with a fine coarse uh, application rate, which can be changed to any sort of application. So coming standard with a 12,000 milliamp LiPo battery from Herewin, it also comes with its own proprietary charger that DJI will supply with you uh, when purchasing the craft. So here we have the transmitter. It, uh, you might recognise it uh, as an Inspire or Lightbridge transmitter. It's very much the same, although they've introduced uh, a waterproofing type of uh, rubber silicon around the sticks to keep it also dust and water resistant. And you might notice that the phone or tablet holder is now gone. All your display information is now on this small uh, little display unit here, which can be increased with brightness out in the sun if you wish. But here you can uh, adjust your litres per minute, your height, your uh, metres per second, and it'll also give you battery information as well, so you know when you're getting low. Of course, the craft will automatically return anyway when, it, when the battery gets low. Um, as with the other transmitters, you, you've got your, your, your buttons here, although you don't have your start and stop. This is used to mark your autonomous areas, uh, along with, with your different modes here. And on the, on the other side, we have an on-off for the spray system. Uh, we can go a little more in depth. Uh, the craft will automatically start spraying when you set waypoints, uh, which we'll show you a little later. Um, and we can talk about some advantages of this uh, for the use in Australian agriculture. So a little bit more information about the transmitter. Uh, we'll go through the control panel here that you'll, uh, that you'll notice is uh, vastly different from the, the phone or tablet. Here we have a simple measuring tool for your battery. So you have your five bars. Now within the manual it'll tell you Obviously five bars is 100% and as you get lower, different bars and flashing bars uh, refer to different percentages of your battery time left. Moving across here, we have our A and B points. So uh, we'll, sh we'll demo a little later, but when you fly uh, a waypoint and set it with this button here, it'll come up on here with a solid green light. You then fly, as you can see, to your next waypoint, press the B button and it'll come solid green there as well. Now here you'll have your indicator of direction, which you can choose with the C1 and C2 buttons. After that, you switch into set, uh, smart mode, press both buttons at once, and you can have your autonomous flight here. Now moving across again, we have our application rates. So this is your liters per minute, and this is controlled just here on what you would not normally know as your gimbal scroll. Now moving along, you've got your normal things such as your height in meters and your meters per second. Uh, this, if you've flown any sort of DJI product, you're pretty uh, used to with your normal OSD. Um, here's just indicator of, of on and off, um, application on or off, those sort of things. So it's uh, fairly self-explanatory. As you guys might notice here, there's a silicon rubber that's around the gimbal sticks here. So this is to keep out any sort of dust or water, which is a pretty cool feature. So now if you get any sort of uh, moisture, dust or anything, you can wash it off at the end of the day, which a lot of the agricultural people will appreciate. Okay, so let's talk about where this craft fits into Australian agriculture. Where it is really useful is in the winter into spring months, where the ground is really damp and you don't want to access it with bigger vehicles that may cause damage to your crops and decrease the yield. You can use, uh, use this craft to apply any sort of fertilizers, herbicides, or more relevant in those months, some sort of fungicide to increase the quality and yield of your product. Where the craft is particularly useful is in hilly and undulating uh, areas where you don't want to take your four wheelers and your larger vehicles on, uh, where you can put yourself in any sort of danger. You can spot spray with this craft from a distance and you're not going to bring yourself in any sort of harm by rolling or tipping over. You can add your own video system to this craft and you can really get some precise points. So a really cool feature 
in a particularly a rectangular or a square paddock is you can set your A to B points and let your craft do its own thing. So it'll fly from A to B in any sort of sequence that you tell it to. And when you get to the end of the paddock, you simply bring it back. If you run out of water or, or fertilizer or whatever you got inside there, or your battery runs out, it'll return to home, top it up, it'll memorize exactly where it was and start from where it was. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed our review on the DJI Agress MG1. If you have any more questions, just let us know in the comments below or send us an email and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.